Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this exact grass render in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so start off by switching from Blender Render to Cycles Render for better shading, and then click X to delete the default cube. Then go into Create and add a plane. Click S, then 2.5 to scale the plane 2.5 times. And then we need to go into the particle settings. Click new and then change it to hair. Let's increase the number to 2K and then the hair length to around 0.2. Okay, and then we need to enable hair dynamics. So uh, click hair dynamics and then open the settings and change the stiffness to 0.7 and the randomness to 0.2. And uh, the hair dynamics is going to animate the movement of the hairs, which is the grass. So let's change the quality to 10. And then we need to select children, which is going to multiply the amount of hair. So uh, change it to around 500 maybe, or even lower if you have a slow computer. And I would also set the randomness to about 0.2. Okay, and the next step is to add a curl effect to the uh, grass. So select curl. And then you want to set the amplitude value to 0 0.01 to uh, weaken the curl effect. Okay, and then we need to decrease the thickness of the hair or the grass. And let's set it to 0 0.1. And that way the grass becomes thinner and looks better. So the next step of the tutorial is to add some wind to the scene. And we're going to add wind before we bake the animation. So click Shift A. I'm going to force field and add wind. Then click R, Y, then minus 90 to rotate the wind minus 90 degrees on the Y axis. Then click G, then X to grab the wind on the X axis. And then click G, then set to grab it on the set axis. And then we need to change the settings of the wind. So we increase the strength to two. And then increase the noise to 10, which is the maximum value. Okay, and then change the seed to 12, but that doesn't really matter. That's just the seed I use for this animation. So let's select the grass once again and go into the uh, hair settings and click bake to uh, bake the grass animation. And after a few minutes of baking, we're going to have the animation. So uh, click play to uh, see what the animation looks like. And as you can see, the grass is blowing in the wind. And with this animation, you can actually render it out as a full animation as well. But in this tutorial, I'm only going to show you how to render it out as a still image. So let's pause the animation and go to the next step, which is to add some lighting to the scene. So uh, we need to uh, select the lamp and then change the lamp to a sun and then increase the size to one. Click use nodes. Then increase the strength to 7 to make the sun stronger. And now what we're going to do next is to rotate and grab the sun. So uh, click R to rotate. Left click to confirm. And then you can click G to grab. But it doesn't really affect the uh, lighting at all. So the rotation is the most important part. So click Shift Set to go into Rendered View. And uh, let's start off by changing the background color. So uh, I'm going to give it kind of a bluish sky color. So just find a blue color th that you like and that you want to be the uh, background color. And when I have the color I like, I go to the next step, which is to select the grass. And then we need to add two new materials. And the first one is going to be the dirt. So uh, a brown color and then make a new one. And the grass material is going to be a glossy green material and make the roughness 0.45. So something like this and then go into the particle settings and make sure that the grass is uh, the right material for the render. So it's material 2 for the grass and the dirt is going to be the ground or the plane. Okay, so now that we have two materials, one for grass and one for the plane, we can go to the next step which is to go into the camera. So click numpad 0 to see through the camera and then uh, click shift F to use the fly cam. 
and you can move around with W, A, S, and D, just like in a video game. And let's set the camera around here, and then left click to confirm the position. Okay, so to go into the render settings, you need to click the camera icon, and if you don't have a GPU, you can just use the CPU, increase the resolution quality to 100%, and for the sampling, I'm going to set it to around 200. And before you click render, make sure that you have the right frame. And if you like the frame, you can just click render to render out the image. And this is what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you want more quick tutorials, make sure to leave a like. Thanks for watching.